Yeah, first of all, let us very gratefully acknowledge your yeah. presence as well as uh, you know, sincerely thank you for seeing us. The tourism is actually the most top most industry, which has got a lot of reputation. Uh, we started tourism with our nature, with our culture, and with our cuisine. It contributes about 10% of the GDP of I mean, What is the average salary of the jobs you create? The average salary, a minimum salary, we can say 30,000 rupees to onwards, minimum. What are the main sectors in the tourism industry? What would you say? You know, wellness is one of the major sectors. Other parts, actually, we have destinations called uh, different beach destinations. Beach yeah. Hill Station is there, Backwaters is there, Wildlife is there. So, what percentage of your foreign revenue comes from the government? For wellness, we should say about 10%. See, if you come to you know, Kerala via Dubai, right. it is around 2,500 euros. It's more money, yes. So people are looking the fair for wise the, the fairwise. That's the biggest thing. And we don't have a direct flight. Yeah. Yeah. So where is the biggest opportunity for Kerala to see? Basically, the aggressive marketing we have to do internationally. Along with that, destination improvement has to take place. Like, for example, the road connectivity, the yes, infrastructure, the facilities, the garbage waste management. How many jobs have been lost as a result of the lockdown? They came out with a loan scheme called the Emergency Credit Line Guaranteed Scheme. Fortunately, banks are just not yeah. giving these loans. Over, it's over. They've started increasing the interest rates. And also there was another benefit scheme called the SEI, that is Service Export Incentive Scheme, wherein we were all given 7% of our uh, foreign exchange earnings. Now the government first refused to do that. And we created the partnership with the government and work with the government irrespective of political affiliations. In spite of the fact that all of the chief ministers demolished some of the resorts in Vaira and they you know, still we did not fight, we, we, we kept our cool and tried to solve the problems. Zero cash flow with zero revenue, we had to tide over this three years. The only remedy is we need money in the hands of the people. Otherwise this revival will not happen immediately. Suicidals have happened. People have lost huge jobs. What I can do, I can make a general intervention on tourism in the Valmadu. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Yeah. And raise some of your points. We had an excellent interaction with Mr. Rahul Gandhi. Thank you so much, Mr. Rahul Gandhi, for listening to us. And it was a memorable experience for all of us.